Hello and welcome to my review of the Lumineth Realm Lords Venari Dawnriders for Age of Sigmar from Games Workshop. Now currently the only way to get these models is through this uh, Lumineth Realm Lords army set which will set you back £110. However Games Workshop have already confirmed that you'll be able to pick up uh, this unit, this multi-part uh, kit separately uh, soon and uh, my estimation of the kit will be £35. It'd be nice if it was £30, uh, but £35 seems about right for what you're getting for this uh, unit of five knights, basically. As always, uh, we'll look at the models individually, we'll have a look at the spare parts, we'll go through some size comparisons, and then we'll talk about all of the rules for them. So, first things first, they are uh, a bit of a pain uh, to put together. In terms of, there are some tricky parts, and mold lines, the mold lines galore on all the horses. I don't think I had uh, this many issues with uh, the Chaos Knights, but I did have them, I did have the issues with the Varangard, um, but there was only three of those, but it was a, a softer pill to swallow. Um, but these, yeah, there are mold lines everywhere on all the spears, uh, on the horse's legs and the underbelly, and on the, um, the reins. Uh, on the helmets and underneath the helmets and round the helmets on the manes of the you know on the tails every way you can think of uh, probably except for the shields <laughs> you know so bear that in mind if you're going to pick up a, a squad there you're just going to be a bit patient uh, with them because they take longer to put together and um, then than you might think uh, also it suffers from the removal of the cool model uh, syndrome in that uh, if you want to pick I say the cooler looking uh, steed master then you're going to have to forego the only Dawn Rider that has his spear uh, aimed at the enemy uh, you know if you, if you want uh, this steed master with his sword um, you know outstretched his arm outstretched it's not just a simple case of getting that arm with the sword outstretched and plonking it on this model it has to go on this one <laughs> it's a completely different model the way they've done that uh, I thought it would just be oh different um, uh, body and different arm but on the same horse it's not so you have to bear that in mind so you have to forgo a cool looking steed master with this one who's just got his sword sort of you know outstretched rather than pointing if you want the uh the thrusting um dawn rider which i think is really cool and i'd rather go for this thrusting one and um, because i couldn't swallow uh another one of these that just have their spears upright in quite a useless um position i, I, I guess um but anyway that's probably because i like my knights with with the spears down uh, or the lances down uh, about to skewer an enemy or whatever much like this uh, amazing chaos chaos knight um just looks so cool anyway moving forward uh, you can have this uh, banner bearer as well and again you do forgo um you know one of the dawn riders with a uh, with a lance um if you if you choose this one and this this one is a bit of an odd odd one because he's on a bit of a wonk and that's just the way he is he's sort of you know going traveling sort of that way rather than kind of upright which yeah does look a bit strange um, but the rest of them are quite cool uh, I like the ones with the, the legs going forward that's amazing um, and this one has a real sort of sense of speed because basically nearly all of its legs are are off the ground it's only got one hoof on on the ground there and uh, speaking of which let's just jump in with the um, with the detail then so yeah a fair amount of detail I really enjoyed putting uh, I really enjoyed gluing the, the horses um, together. <laughs> um, they are lovely looking horses. Uh, if, if you are into horses at all, um, it's, it's worth getting them um, because they are, they are beautiful steeds. Um, and uh, the little uh, Venari uh, Dawn Riders themselves on top of them um, go, go on really well. They fit well. Um, everything you know the aesthetics run through with the scales on the shields and uh, the big um, the big manes that they've got with the little tassels and the cloaks they give a sense of real movement and speed um these ones and like i say this is like the banner bearer um bit of an odd one with uh, sort of moving that way um not much you can really do about that but this one's only got one uh, leg on the ground as well these two quite high up not sure why there you go and then this really cool looking one 
with the lance aiming down. It'd be cooler if it'd be better if he was kind of lean forwards into that. Um, but yeah, really quite decent. You've got a choice of different um, kind of facial expressions because you glue the the face kind of helmet part on to these bits. So at least you can have different heads and sort of different manes, I guess, uh, for for more if you did buy a second second set. W would I buy a second set? Well, I'm just a bit put off by the number of um, Dawn Riders that don't have the spears down. And uh, if, I, if I did get another set, then um, we'd be looking at just two, two different ones. Um, these two uh, would, would be different. However, it might be possible to build another one of these um, with the uh, spear down. Uh, and then, yeah, this is the Blade Master himself. Really like the, uh, the difference in helmet there because it's got a little horse on the top, on the main. And the sword looks really cool. And he's still got his spear, but it's, you know, in the sheath, I want to call it, <laughs> in the hold all, in the pommel. I don't know what you'd call that. Um, but yeah, lovely miniature as well. And then finally this one. This one's an interesting one because it's sort of charging. And, and again, we've got one foot on the ground. Yeah, a lot of sense of speed with these models, as you can tell, and they look lovely. Uh, probably one of my favourite looking um, knights, really. So there you go, let's have a look at the uh, spare parts. You don't get many, just just a, a few little pieces. And this, this, is, this is it, look, this is all you get right here. Um, literally about five or six pieces. Uh, so you get the the different the spear tip um, for the for the banner because that just glues onto that instead. Um, you get a, another different uh, spear, another sword. So this is the sword that's charging, but you can't just put that one on there um, because look, they're all letter graded. This says E. I think his was a B. I'm not sure. And then I've got a, a different uh, helmet and head there, which I could have used on on any of them. I guess I could have used that on the. Blade Master instead of his, and then you get a different head um, here as well that you could have used. So I could have used this one instead uh, of, of the one that I did go for. So there you go. Literally five pieces, uh, five, literally five spare parts uh, in this kit. So it doesn't give you many spare parts at all. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just go through some size comparisons. So. Um, I want to just compare them to a normal warden. So, yep, they are a fair bit bigger. You know, they are on horseback, you'd expect them to be bigger. Of course, uh, warden is a pikeman, so the pike is longer than the uh, lance or spear of the, uh, the knights. Um, so there you go, that gives you some idea there, the size. Uh, the Light of Altharion is right here. Um, he is pretty much taller because he's on the scenic base and his helmet is ridiculous. He is taller than these Dawn Riders, so he is going to project uh, a fair amount of presence um, amongst them, um, even though uh, they've got a lot of bulk uh, between them. And that's all of my Lumineth Realm Lords models so far. Um, of course, I want to uh, do them justice and uh, get hold of the other models. I'm really looking forward to uh, a Velenor and um, those Stone Kings and the Archmage and the Stone Mages and uh, all the and Teclis, of course. Um, so as I unbox and review them, you'll see these models um, comparing to, to those sizes. But that's it for the Realm Lord size comparisons. Just give you a, a comparison with some other knights. So let's just um, compare Chaos Knight with the Dawn Rider, and let's uh, move the camera down a bit. Um, so. Yeah, this is probably a good size comparison here, right here. Uh, so there you go. Um, the Chaos Knight is on a much bigger um, sort of oval base. It's, uh, it's, it is it's um, a bit taller, I want to say, just, just a little bit. They are similar kind of height uh, on their steeds, um, but the Chaos one is just adorned in so much more armour. Um, you know, and so much, well, it's heavier, obviously, bulkier. Uh, but yeah, 
lovely looking steeds and knights. So if you like these kind of things, then this, these will be right up, up your up your street. Uh, but yeah, awesome looking models. Um, but I just wanted to give you that idea of size between them. And then um, next to uh, a Varangard, which is a massive, massive uh, steed horse. Look at the size of that bad boy. He's like a, <laughs> just huge. These these mounts and um, these mounts could eat these dawn riders for breakfast i'm sure um but yeah this spear is um yeah a bit shorter than the lance of the uh, dawn rider but so much more bulk and armor and just oh aggressiveness coming from off, off of that vanguard um and you can see why these are and that probably gives you an idea of why these are 60 quid uh, for three because you you're basically looking at 20 pound each of these um so there you go uh that's it next to a load of uh uh, Chaos Knights with with the Karkad rack, which is um, I say a bit bit smaller than Varangard, um, but there you go. That gives you an idea. Karkad rack is is a fair bit bigger um, than the Dawn Riders, but he's on a scenic pace there. So I hope all those size comparisons have helped. I'd love to have uh, given you some size comparisons with Ideneth Deepkin or um, Gloom Spike Gits or something, but hopefully one day uh, we'll, we'll get to that level. But for now, this is my part of the review where I will go through all of their rules uh, in the brand new Lumineth Realm Lords uh, Battle Tome, which came with the army set. So now the Dawn Riders, they aren't their own kind of separate unit that you can take, if that makes sense you have to take a, a unit of Wardens. Um, it specifically says um, for each Venari or Rollin Wardens unit included in your army, you can take one Venari or Rollin Sentinels unit or one Venari Dawn Riders unit as a battle line unit. So they only become a battle line role if you have those Wardens. And if you're able to get them, uh, then their points cost is 130 for the five, and you can have a maximum unit size of 20. God, can you imagine 20 of these? hurtling along the battlefield. Uh, however, they are going to look quite samey, aren't they? So their stat line, very strong stat line, is a movement of 14 inches, two wounds, save of four plus, and a bravery of seven. Super, how does that compare to Chaos Knights? Well, they're a fair bit faster. They don't call them Dawn Riders for, for nothing. Um, you know, Chaos Knights only have a movement speed of 10 inches, whereas these guys have a movement speed of 14 inches. Uh, the bravery and the saves are the same, um, but the Chaos Knights do benefit from uh, three wounds each. Now, a unit of Venari Dawn Riders has any number of models, each armed with a sun metal lance. So one model in this unit can be a Steedmaster. A Steedmaster is armed with a sun metal lance and a guardian sword. Standard bearer, one in every five models in this unit can be a standard bearer. You can re-roll Battleshock tests for units that include any standard bearers. Now, what are they equipped with? So these Sun Metal Lances, they're a range of two inches, attacks one, three plus to hit, four plus to wound, nothing for end, and only one damage. The Dashing Hooves that they're equipped with is a range of one inch, two attacks, four plus to hit, and four plus to wound, nothing to rend, damage of one. The Guardian Sword for the Steedmaster is a range one inch, two attacks, three plus to hit, four plus to wound, minus one rend, and a damage of one. So that's quite nice, it's easier to hit, and uh, he does get two attacks with it. Abilities then, uh, there are some juicy abilities. Deathly Furrows. At the start of the combat phase, you can say that this unit will use its Deathly Furrows ability. If you do so in that phase, you can either add one to the attacks characteristic of this unit's melee weapons, but it can only target units that have a wounds characteristic of one or two and do not have a mount. <laughs> Bit, getting a bit complicated now. Um, or you can add two to the attacks characteristic of this unit melee weapons, but it can only target units that have a wounds characteristic of one and do not have a mount. So basically you're getting the, the benefits there for either adding one for the attacks uh, with wounds of, of one or two, or adding two to the attacks, uh, but only uh, against uh, targets that have wound, wounds of one and don't have a mount. So it doesn't do anything against um, other knights. Lances of the Dawn. If this unit made a charge move in the same turn, add one to wound rolls for attacks made with this unit's sun metal lances and improve the rend characteristic of that weapon by one. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so that's really going to help them out and they do need a bit of help because their wound roll does only start at four plus. Sun metal weapons. If the unmodified hit roll for an attack made with the sun metal lance is six, that attack inflicts 
one mortal wound on the target and the attack sequence ends. Do not make a wound or save roll. So works similar to the wardens, um, but you've got to get sixes and they only get one attack each. Magic. The steed master of this unit is a wizard. Oh, I've got another hidden wizard. While this unit has three or more models, again, oh, there's only two dawn riders in this unit. I forgot my, my magic spell again. They can attempt to cast one spell in your hero phase and attempt to unbind one spell in the enemy hero phase. They know the power of Hish spell. Now the power of Hish works the same as the Wardens. Uh, it has a casting value of six. It's successfully cast until your next hero phase. The Sun Metal Weapon's ability for the caster and or the unit they are part of causes mortal wounds to be inflicted on a unmodified hit roll of five plus instead of six. Any number of Lumineth Realm Lords wizards can attempt to cast Power of Hish in the same hero phase. Keywords, Order, Elf, Lumineth Realm Lords, and Venari Dawn Riders. So there you go. Their, their weapons are all right. You know, you get sixes and you, you're getting your mortal wounds. Um, where they really come into their own is the Deathly Furrows ability and the Lances of the Dawn, uh, but they have to uh, make that charge move to get the Lances of the Dawn. It would have been nice if they had some kind of extra ability like um, blinding light or I don't know I, I just feel like they, they should have something akin to the scene in, in uh, Lord of the Rings and the two towers when the riders of Rohan charge down Helm's Deep and um, Gandalf blinds the uh, Urukai. I, I think that that would be really cool it you know the games where sure missed an opportunity there i think and um, to have this to have this uh, wizard this steed master wizard have like um I, I say blinding light some kind of extra ability um that reduces the damage or reduces the modifies the the hit roll for the enemy that would be really cool and i'm surprised they didn't do that uh on here but I hope they do something similar to that in the future. But it was a great opportunity to put a little rule like that in. Um, Dawn Riders, you know, uh, blinding the enemy as they charge that would modify or affect the enemy's hit roll. Anyway, uh, that would be the only thing I'd add to this unit to make them uh, a bit more punchier and worth worthwhile. What do you guys think of the models and the rules? Uh, please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear your thoughts about them. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Techlist protects.